Um, you know, it's also worth noting, as I was reading your background, and I thought this would be a good place to start substantively, and then we're going to get to the questions from viewers, and particularly more as those come in. But um, over the course of your time in the legislature, in the Congress, you have uh, been a leader in the Farm Bill uh, efforts. Uh, those are every five years, as I recall, uh, at least three of them. And I think if my math is right, we're probably coming up on another one here. Right. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about uh, that process and maybe talk a little, give us a little preview of the discussions that are going to center around what the farm, the next farm bill might look like. Yeah, I think this is my fifth farm bill. Um, and uh, it, it expires, the current bill expires September 30th of, 20, uh, of 2018. So we've had a bunch of hearings and we're in the process of getting ready to, mm -hmm. to reauthorize it. Uh, this is one of the toughest, most complicated pieces of legislation that's done in Congress. Uh, Trump hasn't proclaimed anything on this, but if he would delve into it, he would say, boy, this is complicated. <laughs> um, and I was chairman in, in 08, so I was in charge of the process that year, and it about did me in, because it is, it's a tough process. Uh, this time, you know, we aren't going to have any extra money. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to mostly just reauthorize what we put in place in 2014. Even though I'm not sure it's adequate, given the low price situation we've had and so forth, but there just isn't any money. Um, there are a couple things that have to be done. Um, one is to fix the cotton program, and that's a complicated situation. But uh, they lost a court case to Brazil and they came up with a new cotton program that has not worked. Mm -hmm. And they've lost a lot of acres and they've got big problems. So I've been helping them come up with a solution to fix the cotton problem. So that's one thing we've got to do. The other thing is we set up a new dairy program in 2014. That was my bill. I worked with National Milk to do it. Uh, but CBO forced us to make some changes at the end that reduced the feed cost adjuster. And because of it, the sign-up has not been what it um, should be. So we got to do some tweaking to that provision, to that uh, margin protection program, so that it works for um, producers. So those are two things I think that have to be done. And then I would like to see us reauthorize uh, 40 million acres of CRP. And we cut that to 24 million in the 2014 bill because the acres were going to 2014 and they're going to 24 million anyway because of the prices. Mm -hmm. And if we didn't lower the cap to 24 million, the money would disappear. So by lowering the cap, we saved six and a half billion that we put into other conservation programs. So um, it's, you know, <laughs> to try to explain all the ins and outs of this is. Um, it's well, not easy, and you're balancing uh, agricultural interests in a country of 325 million, 210 million people uh, from Florida to Alaska, and it's... Uh, well, that maybe isn't so uh, difficult as, uh, you know, everything, everything in, in a, you know, I've, all I've talked about is the farm part of this. Mm -hmm. But the majority of the spending in the farm bill is nutrition. And food stamps are over 80 billion, 80% uh, of the bill. Mm -hmm. You know, if actually the farm part of it is only 5%, for 6%. 6% is conservation. The rest is rural development and so forth, and then you've got food stamps. Uh, so this is a problem. It, it, it caused the bill to fail on the floor of the House in 2013 for the first time in history because they split the bill. They put food stamps separate from um, <laughs> the rest of the bill, and it went down. Uh, and then it got put back together again later. But now there's some of these Club for Growth, Freedom Caucus people are trying to split it again. And we've been telling them if you do that, I'm not sure we can put it back together again. And you can't pass a bill with just food stamps. <laughs> and you can't pass a bill with just farm and conservation programs. So they need to be together. Uh, so it's, um, and there's only 35 of us that have farm districts in Congress out of th 435. So, you know, we could put together a bill for our farmers. Why would the rest of them vote for it? Mm -hmm. They have no interest in it other than they're getting cheap food. But most of them don't recognize that 
The, the world's most successful farmers uh, don't necessarily have a huge constituency. Is no, kind of where that's really. at. <laughs> well, we'll probably have a chance to come back to um, to the farm uh, farm issues and other things. We